welcome back to another video we are back with another unboxing hell yeah i'm on a roll right now with these unboxings but yeah here we are today as you can see we have something very very exciting drum roll please because we have another red velvet comeback finally oh my god actually it hasn't been like too long i guess Actually, it kind of was. I don't know. I just missed Red Velvet, but we are finally back with the Reva Festival 2022. They're back with the Reva Festival, I guess. Yeah, we have Feel My Rhythm. Oh my gosh, I am so giddy to unbox these because this looks so beautimous and this comeback is my entire life right now. So yeah, let's just get right into it. We do have all of the versions here. We have the Reva versions. I honestly like totally forgot about the name so I can like put it up on the screen. They're very complex, but we have this version, the blue nature one, the more classy one, I guess. And then we have this very unique little box, which is called the Or Gel, Or Gel, which I am very excited to open because like, this is so cute. But anyways, let's go ahead and start with this photo book, shall we? All right, here we have the first version. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This is such an upgrade from the Queendom photo books. Like this is like hardcover. It's the perfect book size. Ugh, I'm obsessed. And this cover oh my god all these details sm graphics like never disappoint honestly okay Ooh, this is it without the cover here is the track list amazing mini album by the way oh my god like ugh. red velvet y'all never disappoint the inside here's these beautiful clouds giving us toy story vibes but yeah also the logo is really cool but anyways we have red velvet oh my god like i just get so gagged every time red velvet has a comeback because i just honestly never know what to expect from red velvet you know like they just always give us something totally unexpected and new and different which i'm always here for by the way i'm obsessed with this yeti photo when they drop this photo teaser i just love like the psychedelic looks you know but yeah we have these little ballerina um looks which is so pretty by the way these photos are so gorgeous oh my god and the set i'm actually obsessed but yeah anyways the music obviously oh <laughs> this took me off guard for a second but anyways oh <gasps> okay wait sorry one more thing like this concept oh my god i remember seeing like some conspiracy theories about like this being like mirroring psycho era like the finale era i don't know but anyways these photos are gorgeous i love nature of course but the song oh my god feel my rhythm it was like a slight grower for me i definitely had to listen to it like two to three times for like me to understand it i guess because i remember like compared to the teaser that they gave us it was very like slow and melodic i guess so you know i was kind of thrown off when after that part they started, you know, clashing like pots and pans in the background. I was like, oh, okay, interesting. But it grew. This song definitely grew on me and it's so catchy. It's so unique. It's so like Red Velvet, you know? I honestly feel like this is definitely the grand finale for the Rev Festival. I don't know if they're gonna keep doing Rev Festival, but this was definitely, this felt like the grand finale, you know? Like this should have been finale besides Psycho, but because I just feel like it was a combination of the previous Reva Festival tracks. Like we have the pots and pans from Zimzala Vim, no shade, but like, yeah. And then we have the orchestra vibe from Psycho and just like the happy vibe, I guess, from Oompa Oompa. So this definitely just felt like the perfect finale combination. It just felt so beautiful coming together. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this though. It's such a good song. And this mini album as well. The mini album is so good. All the B-sides, like I feel like this is the most I've been like obsessed with all of the B-sides for Red Velvet. Yeah. My favorite tracks would have to be either Beg For Me and In My Dreams. I feel like that's like everyone's favorite tracks, but yeah, they're just so good. In My Dreams sounds so heavenly. Oh my God, so good. Everyone's kind of like low-key shitting on Rainbow Halo though. Every time I see a ranking, People put Rainbow Halo at the, on the bottom, but like that was a song I really liked the first listen. It's so catchy. Yeah, Justice for Rainbow Halo. 
But yeah, all the songs are really, really good. I've been listening to this uh, mini album nonstop. But yeah, here's the CD. Just love this like little, what should I call it? Like orchestra vibe, like music, classical music. I don't know. But yeah, I'm so, I don't know if I went through that photo book really fast. I know sometimes people think I'm too slow with it. So I tried going at a medium speed. Anyways, gorgeous photo book. All right, now we have some inclusions along with this ad, of course. This looks like a folded poster. Oh, it's random member. Oh, we got Wendy. Oh my God, this poster is gorgeous. This is, I love like these mini size posters. I feel like these are perfect for hanging up, honestly. But yeah, and it's also this really nice like, it's like semi, it's like a satin almost. It feels very nice. Okay, and then, oh, ooh, we get this sticker sheet in their little ballerina moments. So pretty. I grabbed the bookmark. Oh, we got Wendy again. Wow, we are being like, oh, it's double-sided. Oh, here's the versions. Okay, so we have the, the cappuccino version and then the calamari version. Oh my God, this is such a cool bookmark though. I love that it's double-sided. Now we have the photo card. The photo cards this era are so gorgeous. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my God, you guys. I am actually speechless. These photo cards are so pretty. We got Irene, there's the back. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this? Oh my God, like the dress, the flowers, the crown. That was the first version, the cappuccino version, I think. Okay, here is the other version. I just wanted to show the sticker real quick because for some reason, they just love putting the sticker on the outside of the album like they did with Queendom. Honestly, I don't like it when albums do that because I want to save the sticker, of course, and just put it on the actual album. But I mean, I guess it's nice that they like give the, the buyer an option whether or not they want the sticker, I guess. But yeah, now we have the Cal... Camato? Camelto? Calamari version? The ballet one. All the details and stuff, it just looks so beautimous. This... Oh, there's this little like carousel thing. <gasps> Look at this pink. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Uh, I love it. Let's wait. Is this the same exact photo book? Hold on, this looks very familiar. Um, What? Are y'all seeing this? This is the exact same photo book. I'm gonna double check real quick, hold on. Oh my god, you guys, this is the exact same photo book. I just checked and in Korean, they put that it's the same photo book. What? Why would they do that? That's so weird. Have they ever done that before? This is literally supposed to be like a different like version. Like it's very different, but the photo... That is so weird. Like they didn't even put like different photos or... They could have at least like split it up, you know? I feel like they could have put like this version for like one of the photo books and then like this version in the other. That is so weird. They, I mean, I guess I can't be that mad because they technically did advertise it, but I don't know, I, I guess I just didn't expect it. I mean, I feel like, damn, I should really pay attention to the album details next time. Wow, so I guess that just shortened this unboxing in half. No one mentioned it on like Twitter or anything, so I didn't know. Okay, so yeah, all right. Let's look for our inclusions then. Oh, we got the same sticker sheets. I'm not sure if there's different ones. There probably is, and I just got this one again. Here's the ad, and then... <gasps> Yay! We got Yeti! OMG, my bias! Yeah, if you didn't know, Yeti is my bias, so... OMG. I think I might actually hang this one up though, because she's my bias and this photo is so pretty. And then for the... <gasps> Ooh, we got another Irene inclusion, but we got her bookmark. Double-sided again. This dress is so pretty. I just love big, poofy dresses. They look so cool. Okay, and then for our photo card... Oh! Wait, we literally got only Wendy and Irene, I feel like, but we got Wendy's card follow follow my harpy that's so cute <gasps> again love the nature vibe so yeah all right last but not least we have i'm not even gonna say it anymore i feel like i'm just embarrassing myself but you know what i'm talking about this version so instead of a case this time they gave us this cute little box it kind of looks like a kino honestly 
but yeah this is so pretty and so cute this is literally like selling out everywhere because everyone wants this so yeah anyways okay yeah this is literally like just a fancy kino basically a cd version of a kino which is cool all right i took everything out um there's the bottom you're supposed to stick the little figurine in which i will see who it is later okay we can flip through this tiny little photo book oh my god wait it's so thick damn but yeah here's what it looks like these are different photos right i swear to god <laughs> imagine if they put the same exact photo book for like every single version sm what are you doing but okay these are different photos that's or maybe it is the same photos and i'm just like tripping either way i'll just show it oh my god yeah, this era has made me so happy. Just the whole vibe of this album. We really needed a Red Velvet comeback to save our 2022, didn't we? Like literally, I've seen just nothing but positive vibes from everyone on like TikTok or Twitter. Everyone just loves this comeback, rightfully so. <gasps> Ooh, there's like little vertical photos. I've heard some like people who are mad because obviously like wearing these things and like standing on their tippy toes is dangerous and i get that so i just hope that they didn't get injured okay this was a serve this little splits moment but yeah i mean it looks like it hurts so yeah they better have gotten like paid a lot for doing that <laughs> risking their toes i guess or like they could have put them in like a harness or something i don't know i'm not an expert in ballet so like don't at me but like i just know it's terrifying and scary but yeah, I mean, these photos turned out really gorgeous. They look like little, like, dolls. Oh, honestly, this may be the same photos. I remember that blurry-ass photo when they were spinning around. But yeah. This is so pretty. Honestly, imagine if they just make all kinos like this. Like, from now on, they just make this a thing for every single SM artist. Like, fuck the previous kino packaging. Let's give fancy magnetic boxes and tiny little thick photo books we deserve it honestly for how much kinos go for <laughs> oh my gosh this yeti like i really want yeti's photo cards like i'm so happy i collect her because her photo cards are probably my favorites they all look so pretty like just it's so tempting to collect all of them literally i bought extra copies of this album which i rarely do but I just had to. <laughs> I was just so impatient. But yeah, anyways, that was the photo book. Oh, what is... Oh, <gasps> this is the little CD. Oh my God. This is so cool. Look at how small <laughs> this is. This reminds me of like, if you guys know GameCube from back then, this is like a GameCube disc. Oh my goodness, this is so small. So yeah, apparently this works for like a couple of CD players. I don't know if it's gonna work on mine. I don't. This probably won't work in the car, but I mean, if you're buying the other versions, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I mean, this is a really cool idea, honestly. This is very unique, but I wonder which CD players will play it, but yeah. Okay, this looks like another sticker sheet. Oh my gosh, it's like little details from the set. So pretty, oh my God, love it. Ooh, we get a little accordion lyric thing. The front is like a soft matte feeling, which is nice, but we get them in the little ballerina photos. And then here are the lyrics. Love the fonts, by the way. And I think the last thing is the photo card. <gasps> oh my god! We got Yeti! Yes! <gasps> bias plus, bitches! Oh my god. It just feels so good to pull a bias, you know? Because I rarely pull my bias, but... <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, this photo is... Oh my god, the hair too looks so cute. The back is also really pretty. <gasps> okay, anyways, I totally forgot about this. Let's see. Oh my god, Wendy just keeps coming for me, I swear. But we got a Wendy's. This is like very thick. It's like a lot thicker than the Summer Magic one, I feel like. Oh my god, wait, we can totally do this. Hold on. So you can like display your little thingy like that. I mean, the thing is though, like, maybe you can take this out. Oh, okay. So maybe if you want to display it, you can just like shove everything at the bottom. 
Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, for a second I was like, that's kind of weird, but <gasps> this is so cute. It's like a little like, what are those called? Like those thingies that you twist and it's like a little ballerina twirling and plays music. That is so pretty. Oh my God, love that. So that was my unboxing of Red Velvet's Feel My Rhythm. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.